Hi, today Pat and I are in Arizona and we're about to explore the unique Petrified Forest National Park. Onward to hike the colorful Painted Desert Rim Trail. These eroded colorful badlands are part of the Chinle Formation, which was deposited here more than 200 million years ago during the late Jurassic period. It consists of a variety of sedimentary rocks, including beds of soft, fine-grained mudstone, siltstone, and claystone, much of which is bentonite, as well as harder sandstone and conglomerate, and limestone, up to 240 meters thick. Onward to the Jasper Forest Mesa Overlook. The petrified log segments we see today, strewn about the valley floor, were once encased in the soft bluffs. Over the last 200 million years, erosive forces slowly have removed the softer rocks and the petrified logs have fallen and accumulated on the valley floor. During the 19th and early 20th century, the Jasper Forest petrified logs were sadly plundered for profit. Onward to the Crystal Forest Trail. The Crystal Forest One Mile Loop Trail winds its way through badlands with a forest of petrified logs, some of which are semi-precious. When and where did these now petrified trees grow? Well, it's generally agreed by scientists that they grew in the late Jurassic age, between 225 million and 203 million years ago, when Arizona was near the Earth's equator, being part of that massive supercontinent, Pangaea. The petrification process began over 200 million years ago, when the logs were washed into an ancient river system and were buried quick enough and deep enough by massive amounts of sediment, also carried in the water. Oxygen was cut off, and so decay of the logs slowed to a process that would take centuries. Silica and other minerals were absorbed into the porous wood over hundreds of thousands of years. Slowly, crystallization of the cellular structure of the log produced a fossil made up of almost solid quartz. In small holes and cracks in the logs, jewel-like crystals of clear quartz, purple amethyst, yellow citron, and 
and smoky quartz form semi-precious jewels. Onward to the Long Logs Trail. This half mile long log loop trail winds its way through open country and badland messes. Large concentrations of petrified logs abound. Some specimens are up to a hundred feet long. That's what I call a long petrified log. This one mile Blue Mesa Loop Trail descends steeply from the Mesa Top Trailhead down into the bottom lands. As Pat descends to the bottom lands, we are acutely aware that our boots are treading through 220 million years of Earth's history. Each of the layers of these colourful and intriguing landforms reveal a history of geological time ever unfolding, ever changing. One of the oldest seats on the planet. This now petrified log grew in the late Jurassic period around 220 million years ago along a river system on the western edge of that massive supercontinent Pangaea. Passing the Benonite teepees, it's onward to the ancient petroglyph site. Human history of the petrified forest dates back thousands of years. The Puebloans, who lived here 2,000 years ago, left behind this rich array of petroglyph rock art. <laughs> 